what you are wearing and what you represent and how you failed me is why I'm here. Let's go ahead and stand up, please. New video tonight shows police arresting a man they say was armed inside the state capitol. This video is from the perspective of the suspect, Joshua Plesnick. Court documents say Plesnick brought a gun into the Capitol demanding to speak with Governor Tony Evers. 12 News Emily Polfall joins us live now in the newsroom. And Emily, you spoke to Plesnick today. He says he was not going to hurt anyone. Plesnick told me although he brought a firearm to the Capitol twice that day, he did not want to hurt the governor or anyone else in the Capitol. Hey guys, come on over. Watch the show. 43-year-old Joshua Plesnick arrested at the Wisconsin State Capitol October 4th, surrounded by police and his dog. He says he recorded this video himself. Plesnick tells us he went to the Capitol with a loaded handgun in its holster, demanding to speak to Governor Tony Evers. I just wanted to talk to him about, you know, men's health and mental health and the fact that, like, we are ignored as men when it comes to domestic violence. Police arrested Plesnick. I need you on, on your stomach. Right now. On your stomach. All right. He posted bail that same day. I don't want to hurt anyone and never have. Video shows Plesnick in a second visit to the Capitol that night, this time with a rifle still demanding to see the governor. If you don't want to hurt anyone, why did you return to the Capitol with a larger weapon? First of all, the AK-47, the Automat Kalashnikov model of 1947, was and is a international symbol of rebellion and protest. Plesnik says he carried guns because an ex-girlfriend made him fear for his safety. After his second encounter, police took Plesnik to a mental health facility for evaluation. He says he struggled with mental health issues for years, but still chose to carry guns. Should I have access to guns? No. If you know that you shouldn't, why do you do it? I did it because my first wife took away custody of my kids. I have no access to my children. Emily, he's facing a misdemeanor charge for openly carrying a gun in a public building. And he says he'll attend court via Zoom because he lives in Nebraska now. He also says he'll comply with his bail terms, staying away from Governor Evers and his family and staying off Capitol grounds. Emily Polfall in the newsroom tonight. You can find our coverage of Plesnick's second arrest on the 12 News app. Just search armed man at Capitol.